I'm Chef Nicholas Kinnear. I'm actually redoing this video because I was trying to edit this and I was extremely tired and my voice was just so monotone. You know, when were we having today going to this ridiculous? Anyway, so this is about fermenting food that actually activates your immune system. Now what's so interesting, I read this article uh, last night because my friend Chris, he goes, hey Nick, you're gonna really be interested in reading this. And I was like, oh, absolutely. The reason being is because my friends and I, we actually do what's called a dinners club together, and we're actually booked all the way till September at this moment. And we work with a lot of lactic, you know, fermented, uh, lactic acid fermented food. And it's generally a lot of uh, fruits and also, you know, Pacific Northwest ingredients, which is really cool. Now, what I found interesting in this article, and I do have some disagreements in this uh, article and what they plan on doing with this. So, to sum the whole thing up, is that when you go into the article, it pretty much says it activates your white cells when eating it, which to me, I didn't even know about this, which was really cool to find out because I was thinking, oh wow, next time I get sick, which rarely happens, I'll eat a lot of lactic fermented food and then my white cells will activate and boom, I'm gonna get better much faster because one of the things I actually do when I'm sick, I wear another jumper or jacket or whatever to sweat, to you know, just get better. My wife knows this uh, pretty well, it's kind of funny. And usually in a day I'm better because I'm just trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible. The other thing that's mentioned here, and I, I will bring this up in here, so now one of the things that was very interesting in this article as I'm bringing this up right here, so this is one of my favorite parts, discussing the implications of the study results, you know, in this. We are convinced that this receptor very likely meditates some beneficial and anti-inflammatory effects of lactic acid bacteria for humans. So in other words, you know, they're thinking about turning this in potential drug. Now, the reason why I'm kind of against it, just make the food, it's so easy to make. You're literally doing 4% of the total weight of, say, a fruit. You get a fruit that's got enough sugars in it and it starts fermenting. Naturally, you can do it in you know, room temp or a lot of us, us, our chefs, what we do is we put in a vacuum package. Or we, I found out by accident last year, I did this by accident, I got some dapple plums and I threw it in my fridge and it created and it was so amazing. Now, what a lot of people are gonna get the idea of is they're gonna think that, oh, this is gonna create alcohol, I don't want any alcohol. No, 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 that's not, that's not what's happening, all right? It's a, a bacteria, it's a different kind of bacteria, it's controlled, so there's no wild yeast, there's no yeast getting in, in, inside of it, so that's, that's why you're vacuum packing it or you're putting in a container. That's, that's the difference. So, again, I just, I want to iterate that it, it, I wouldn't agree on doing this now, but I know why they want to turn it into a potential drug. Yes, it's anti-inflammatory. Yes, it will help out with you know your white cells from activating. But people, for some reason, have this mindset, and this was a great example. It happened today. Hey, I have uh, this lactic acid uh, lemons, try this out, it's really delicious. And I, I actually mix it with some soda water, thanks to my friend Chris. He showed me this yesterday, because he grew up having this with his uh, mother. His mother would throw that in there, and it's just super refreshing. And I was trying to give it to a friend of mine, and he said, no, 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 I don't wanna get sick. You're not gonna get sick, dude. This is totally safe. And he goes, no, 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 I'm okay. Uh, I don't eat fermented foods. So I literally started saying, and this is gonna be some of you as well, most likely, but most likely, anyone that's watching my channel, you're pretty educated. I have a good idea that you are pretty educated. That they say, oh no, um, I, just, I, I don't eat fermented foods. And you, you're most likely to say, have you ever had chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Yeah, that's fermented. Do you like coffee? You ever had coffee? Well, yeah, that's fermented. Have you ever had you know, pickles? Yeah, yeah, that's fermented. Now, some of the people, and this is what my friend was saying, he goes, oh yeah, I don't like any of that. I was like, Shut up, you're full of crap. Because I see him drink coffee all the time. It's in a lot of foods. If Granted, if you like something a lot, <laughs> chances are there might be some sort of fermented food. As a chef, I have to sneak it in in foods because sort of like, you know, in what parents have to do to sneak it into kids, you know, vegetables. It's the same thing with lactic acid food. I have to throw it in. I know there's benefits to it and I know it helps people 
and I feel great when I'm having it. But not everyone's gonna say it say this because they, they're just so afraid of bacteria because just saying lactic acid bacteria most likely people have a negative association of bacteria if they just hear oh bacteria oh, I'm gonna stay away from it, it that, that's the problem it needs to be kind of a called a different name but this is why it needs to be into a pill form because most likely They'll just call it something else and like, oh yeah, anti-inflammatory, helps your white blood cells. Everyone's gonna go, oh okay, and they'll eat it. That That's gonna be the difference, which is, it's kind of sad that you have to do this and you're kind of treating people like children. And, and you know, at times that is the case, you know. If I have those examples of other, you know, customers and people that are not willing to have it. Now, my customers that I have, the, the ones that, you know, pay my bills, they don't have that attitude. They're open-minded to a lot of this stuff, but they are business owners or they, well, just very well educated people. Not to say anything bad about that, it's like, it just comes down to education and your curiosity. Anyway, so I, I would strongly suggest just reading the article. It is in my description, uh, check it out. It's just very fascinating. There is some words in there that maybe not be able to pronounce, but just, you know, look it up and check out the links and stuff like that. But uh, I, I do want to say this is kind of cool. This guy's name in here, oh, where is his name? I, I really like his name. Uh, something free. He's got a really cool uh, cool name. Well, don't see it. Never mind. Wait, don't forget to click the like button. Come on. This helps more than you know, especially, you know, hey, it shows it. Oh, man, this... This guy's got some content I like, you know, you know, staying up to date what's going on, and of course, you know, I am Information Cuisine, I have made a business out of it, and if you didn't know, I have, like, I'm 110 questions behind on Quora, so, eee! I get a lot of questions on Quora, I'm one of the only chefs on there that actually does a video, and it's, it just comes down to trust and stuff like that, but it's interesting, YouTube is not always the same, so yes, please do click the like button, it helps more than you know. Because in Quora, if you are a professional, it actually, uh, you have more authority, where versus someone that has 10 points, like 10 upvotes, and a person like me just gets one, I have a higher chance of you know, moving up and getting up to the top ranks because of my experience and giving the right information. That's what I love about Quora. It's based on facts and you know real information, and if they see it's fake, they just, I get rid of it. It's amazing where kind of YouTube, it's kind of very manipulated. So the best way of doing it is please don't forget to click that like button. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Chef Nicholas Knier. Thanks for listening. And again, please check out the article. Do your own research. And if you're not uh, familiar with uh, lactic acid uh, food, a great resource would be this. Uh, it's a great book. It's uh, by Noma, um, the, guide of, uh, the Guide to Fermentation. It gives a lot of great resources in there. And yeah, hope that helps you out. Peace.